Everything you know is wrong. And why is that? Stop! Everything you know is wrong. Why is that? My wife listened to a video today where the teacher asked if you could entertain the possibility that everything you've learned so far is wrong. Well, if you listen to my videos, this is not a possibility you should be able to entertain. This should be a certainty. This is a prerequisite to understanding everything I say on this channel. If you still believe that anything you think, feel, believe could be right, this is not your channel. Now, there are lots of channels out there who tell you all kinds of interesting stuff about what is really true. The basic premise and prerequisite of this channel is that nothing you think can possibly be true. Nothing you feel could possibly be true. Nothing you believe could possibly be true. And why is that? I know I'm going to piss some people off now. This is one of my main talents. But I'm going to tell you, you do not exist. There is no you who could know, feel or believe anything. There really is not. There is no you and there are no other people either. In lots of conversations via telephone, WhatsApp, email, Facebook, Skype, Zoom, whatever, with you and others during the last months, I've realized that many people think the first few baby steps are it. Yeah? Waking up are the first few baby steps. Yeah, you're crawling around and then suddenly you can walk. The first few steps. And everyone is going, yay! Those are the first few baby steps. Waking up are the first few baby steps. That's not it. You won't get a PhD for it. You won't even get a high school degree for it. You won't even be permitted into kindergarten. It's the first few baby steps. I have tried the last few months to go full jet and full UG on you and I didn't manage. It's actually quite hard. Harder than I expected. But I'm going to do this now in this video. You don't know shit. You cannot. As long as you still have the feeling that you are someone. As long as you still feel a personality existing. You don't know anything. And everything you think you know is something that you heard. Something that you read. Something that you've been trained to do. Some brainwashing from your parents, from school, from teachers, spiritual teachers also. It's all bullshit. Jed described this very nice picture of someone sitting there meditating blissfully and then his or her teacher is backing up with a big truck and unloading a whole big truck full of bullshit upon the meditator. That's usually what happens if you learn anything, even so-called spiritual knowledge. Because there's nothing to know and there's nothing to learn, there's only to let go of anything you identified with. It's time to let go. That's the only way. The only way is inside. Anything that comes from the outside, including my videos. In the end, the last consequence is it's bullshit because it doesn't come from you. And who are you? No one. But deep, deep inside of you, inside of this illusion of being someone, there is something, something that cannot be described. 
And the way there is called intuition. That's the only thing you can trust, more or less. And intuition is not thinking, it's not feeling, it's not instinct, it's not believing. It's something very, very different. It does not come from you, it comes directly from whatever you want to call it, the divine, the universe, and so on. We've had a lot of discussions recently on the Facebook group, and I must tell you most of those are based on opinions. Opinions are not worth anything. To the contrary, they're the biggest obstacles because they're not based on anything. Opinions is just some brainwashed ego clusterfuck that keeps repeating in your mind all over and over again. It's a kind of self-hypnosis. And then we're trying to convince others that our kind of self-hypnosis is more true than theirs. That's a nice mixture of vanity and hypocrisy, but it has nothing to do with awakening or enlightenment. If there's still anyone left who cares if you are awake or enlightenment, in which kind of face, centered in which kind of color, in which kind of Enneagram number, and so on. That's not it. You're on the wrong path. Anything you grab onto, hold onto, it's just attachment, identification. It's the wrong way. Anything you can possibly identify with is not it. Because the truth is not something that you can identify with. Truth is something that swallows you like a deluge, it's like, like a huge tsunami-like wave, like an avalanche. It's not your decision, but it's your decision to stand there and let yourself be swallowed. That's the only decision you have in your life, only one. Everything else is just crap and you're lying to yourself. And you can tell yourself that, oh, I've been meditating for so and so many years or decades and I'm enlightened and I'm awake and I'm this and that. The fuck you are. If you still think that you are anything, you're deep asleep. You've been fucked by your own mind. Hoodwinked, scammed, yeah, it's all a scam. The jig is up, as one of you said recently. The jig is up, you're going to die. And e either you accept that or you stay asleep. You can only really deeply wake up if you die first. And the ego is very afraid of that. Because the ego is nothing else than the fear of dying, than the fear of death. Of course it's going to be afraid of enlightenment. Its whole purpose is to stop you from enlightenment. It's what um, Gurdjieff called the Kanda buffer organ. It's built in so that you don't get enlightened. So anything that comes from the ego, and that includes every thought and every emotion and every belief you have, every single one, without exception, is what stops you from enlightenment. So you can continue with lying to yourself or you can expose the scam and stop listening to it. And that is also UG's main message. Yeah, I've been getting so many really stupid males, I really have to say that, stupid males and comments, a turn of the comment section, about uh, the UG video. The UG video is the most popular video on the whole channel. And there are so many people who just write some stupid UG quotes without understanding them and feeling great about themselves. The main message of UG is stop and stop listening to anyone. Stop listening to it. Every guru, 
every religion, every spiritual teaching, because it's indirect. You will never find the path by listening to others. And what I one of the things I've been trying to do here is kind of to dismantle your belief system structure set so that you can find your own path. Probably not being successful in that. But maybe with a handful of people, maybe a handful of people I have supported so far in staying awake. Yeah? As I said, the first few baby steps are waking up. Then the main challenge is to stay awake because most people then they fall asleep again immediately and then they think, oh, I'm so great because I'm awake. No, no, you're not. You fell asleep again. And this has happened to myself many times in the past. So I know what I'm talking about. So don't fall into self-pity either. It happens. It happens several times to most people and at some point it sticks. But it can only stick if you keep very skeptical towards thoughts coming up. The ego tries to reconquer your awakened emptiness every single moment. And there are several signposts. First of all, don't take seriously any thoughts or emotions. They must be wrong. Secondly, forget and unlearn anything you've been taught because it's just bullshit, without exception. Thirdly, train your intuition. It's a very, very low, subtle voice. It's almost impossible to hear. It's not insisting on anything. If, if voices in your head insist on anything, it's not your intuition and it's bullshit. And the last thing is anything that makes you unhappy is not true. Forget about it. Unhappiness is our inbuilt, just as the candle buffer organ is the inbuilt obstacle of enlightenment. Unhappiness is the inbuilt sign that you're being scammed, that you believe something, that you feel something, that you think something that is not true, that you're living a lie. So if you're unhappy in any way, you're on the wrong path. And why is that? Because it's the ego who feels unhappy. Only the ego can feel unhappy. Once you're rid of the ego, it's impossible to feel unhappy. You won't feel happy either, but you will not feel unhappy. If you're still capable of feeling unhappiness, annoyance, anger, grief, then it's not it. Then you're fooling yourself. Ego is you watching the mountain and judging it and evaluating it. That's the worst thing judging and evaluating anything. If you catch yourself judging and evaluating, stop immediately. That's the fastest way back to sleep. Enlightenment, or the love stages just before enlightenment, are the mountain seeing you. Now that's one of the greatest sayings in the Himalaya of the Himalaya sages. It's not you seeing the Himalaya that's so impressive. It's the Himalaya seeing you. It's so vast, you as an individual don't matter anymore. You don't matter. You don't matter. You don't matter because you are a fiction. You believe in your own hologram. You do not really exist. But once you really realized, once something in you has realized that it is it, that it is part of the mountains, it, not he or she, then something of real 
importance has happened, but then you won't be able to evaluate and judge it anymore. Because there will be no more evaluation and judging. There will be no one left who could evaluate or judge or think or feel. Any baby steps until then are great, well done, but don't matter. They're just baby steps and there's no point in being vain about them. Vanity is just another form of ignorance. And ignorance, as we can see now plainly, we have enough in this world. People are doing the most bizarre and stupid things out of fear. Fear also is just another form of ignorance. Because it's the fear of death. It's the fear of not existing. And you are not existing. You do not exist. And all your megalomania or minority complex, all your self-deprecation, all your self-love or self-hatred, is just, it's all ignorance. It's just ego play. It's the counterbuffer organ of Gurdjieff. It's all just distraction. So the New Year message of the Chris thing talking here is stop wallowing in bullshit or pig shit or human shit or any kind of shit. Just give in. Surrender. Let your ego die, even if it's so afraid of it. Thank you for watching and listening and I hope I will never see you again. Not your personality, anyway. The divine in me is waiting to see the divine in you.